here is the bubblegum lab. The question is, what experiments could you do with bubblegum? One thing that we're going to explore is what happens after you chew a piece of gum for a while. Does the bubblegum gain mass or does it lose mass? So our testable question is, what is the effect of chewing time on the mass of bubblegum? Some of you might think that bubblegum will increase in mass as it's chewed because it soaks up our spit. Some of you might think that the bubblegum will lose mass because it's actually losing sugar. So identify your independent variable and dependent variable. In this experiment, our independent variable is going to be the chewing time. The dependent variable is the mass of the bubblegum because that's what we're measuring. We're changing the amount of chewing time and we're measuring the mass of the bubblegum. So everyone needs to write a hypothesis. If I chew the bubblegum longer, then what will happen? So if the chewing time increases, then the mass of the bubblegum will either increase or decrease. You state your own hypothesis. The next step is to do the procedure. So you're going to unwrap the piece of gum, place the piece of gum on the electronic balance using the wrapper as a liner. So you first you take the mass of the gum before you start chewing it and record that as the one the zero minute mark on your data table. Chew the gum for one minute and remeasure it again and remeasure it and again and remeasure it. To complete your bubble gum lab, make sure that you have your data table completed. Use your foldable for help. You should have all the data from all the minutes and all the group members created. Make sure you have your averages in the right hand column. You need to do your graph next. To do your graph, get a graph sheet from your teacher and set up your graph like this. Experiment. Provide evidence using this data. Make sure you include numbers. Was your hypothesis supported or not supported? And explain. Remember, we don't use language like right or wrong when we're talking about the hypothesis. The hypothesis was either supported or not supported. You need to explain why and give an overall summarizing statement. Here again is a summary of what your conclusion should include. Make a claim about what happened, provide evidence using the data, include numbers, was your hypothesis supported or not supported, and finally, give an overall summarizing statement. That's it.